Have you ever wondered how does a Google search through millions of web pages fetch you the information you need with the click of a button? How does YouTube serve millions of hours worth of content every day? All the behind the scenes of a website comes under backend development. According to Glassdoor, average salary of a backend engineer is around 11 lakhs and it can go up to 22 lakhs. So this is the best time to become a backend engineer. Let us understand the roadmap to become a backend engineer without wasting any time. Hi. My name is Pranit Kaluri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Backend engineers mainly focus on storing and retrieving the data. All the data will be stored in a particular software called database that can store data and retrieve the data in format required. If you consider data to be a book, then a library with collection of all books will be called a database. Data can also be stored in files and other formats, which vary depending on the type of data. But most of the applications that we use daily use databases. If you consider a website like Gmail, it might have different views like website, mobile app, TV app on various platforms like Android, iOS and so on. The front end of such an application might differ, but the database will be the same. That is, there will be only one source of truth for the data. Backend engineer's responsibility is to maintain a standard communication mechanism with all the front ends. The standard communication methodology is API, also known as application programming interface. Let us take a real life example to understand what an API is. For example, electrical appliances vary from microwaves, fridges and cars, manufactured by different companies. They might not be related to each other in any way. But the best part is, it doesn't matter the company or the device. If you can plug it in your wall socket, it will work. The standard power socket is the API. APIs are nothing but a contract between two different entities to exchange something. In this situation, the wall socket is a contract or a standard way electricity distribution company provides electricity to any appliance. To become a successful backend engineer, one should also have some basic idea on front-end technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. To understand more about front-end development, look at my previous video. After that, he should be well versed with database and writing APIs. There are various databases like relational, NoSQL, Graph, etc. You can start with a relational database. There are multiple providers of such relational databases. MySQL and PGSQL are some well-known providers for the same. You can begin learning MySQL and slowly work your way through other databases. If you know one database, the rest will be similar once you understand how the database works. Then you can learn to write a API. API can be written in any backend programming language. Some of the most popular programming languages used for backend are JavaScript, Python, PHP, Java, and c -sharp. JavaScript is the most preferred language for many people because it can be used in both front-end and back-end. Once you are done learning about APIs and database, try to integrate Twitter API and create a Twitter-like application to understand how everything works in real-time. Most importantly, practice is everything. I have not seen people who learn guitar just by watching YouTube videos. You need to practice it also. With that being said, please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Thank you and see you next time.